Whew. Good afternoon, people of the internet, the World Wide Web. I'm here on Mother Earth on the coldest day of the year in the Pacific Northwest. And what am I doing outside filming? I have absolutely no idea. But I want to welcome you to another episode of the Monarch Journal. Thank you so much for joining me. And on today's episode, we will be discussing the elusive topic of the self-image. Let's dive in. Damn it. So I was supposed to do a little bit on reflection in the ice, but it's just too dull. It's like a milky gray. So let's just get right into it. How often do you think about your self-image? Do you care about what other people think of you? Does the thought of public speaking in front of thousands of unassuming faces freak you the hell out? Do you think you're a good person? Maybe a mediocre person? This is all your self-image talking. I think it's safe to say that in this day and age, most of us are self-image obsessed, especially with social media. I know I'm guilty, was, is, of caring about my self-image. And it's because I've been habituated since I was a young little wee lad to protect my self-image at all costs. After all, who and what would I be without it? A mere shell. But what if I told you that one of the pillars to freedom of the mind, and there's many, is to renounce your self-image altogether? You see, on the surface, self-image may seem like a positive force, and there are some good things to it. It keeps you nicely tucked in line and fitting into society. But the problem with self-image is that it succumbs to the same pitfalls every time. It keeps you in the past. You see, the self-image is entirely made up of memories and past experiences. It keeps you in a cage of who you were yesterday and prevents you from unfolding in the present moment. Once you release yourself from the trap of the self-image, you are free to choose who you are, as if for the very first time. So we've officially reached that part of the day where I'm trying to sunbathe in sub-zero temperatures and we need answers. We love answers, we're humans, and we enjoy good explanation. So how is it that we relieve ourselves of the self-image? Well, I'll give you a couple tips. The first one is to stop caring what other people think of you. At the end of the day, it just does not matter. And if you care, then it's your ego defending your insecurity. Take a breath and let it go. So the second one is to stop appraising how you appear in a given situation. I know it can feel natural and habitual to analyze and dissect how we appear to other people. But the truth is, you're better off just not caring at all because it'll allow you to be more present and unhindered. So the third one is to stop excluding people who you feel are inferior or superior to you. Invite everybody to the damn party. After all, we bleed the same blood, as morbid as that sounds. <laughs> so number four is to stop defending your opinion. I'm not saying don't have an opinion. We all love a good opinion. But don't feel the need to defend it to the bitter end. After all, it's a war you'll never win. And I think the world is just a more peaceful place where we can all just accept that we have different opinions. Every morning, before I leave the house, I take my shower, I put on my cute little outfit, thinking about my self-image. And before I leave the house for the day, I stop myself and I say, let go of the self-image. And let me tell you, my day gets about 3.5 times better, not guaranteed or quoted, but give it a try for yourself. Thank you again, folks. 
for joining me on this episode of the Monarch Journal, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy journeys.